So the question is, is it possible to run Battlefield 5 without a graphics card? In this video, we're gonna be trying to run Battlefield 5 on this 350 US dollars gaming PC without a graphics card. It's gonna be a pleasant experience, or will it be another disaster with a bunch of blue screens? Let's find out. <laughs> Alright, so hey, how is it going guys? It's Robin here, glad you made it. On this channel, you'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories, as well as unboxings and product reviews, all gaming related of course, and so if you're interested in any of that, you want to subscribe and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever I decide to upload another video. So, now in this video, we're gonna try to run BF5 Battlefield 5 on a computer I spent around $300 on and it doesn't even have a graphics card. Now will Battlefield 5 even start or will we witness blue screens? Let's find out. Now I'm curious guys, have you tried BF5 yet and what are your initial thoughts? Is it anything near Battlefield 4 or is it more like Battlefield 1 in a World War 2 skin? Please let me know in the comments below. Alright, so this is gonna be fun. I have seen zero expectations here but if this rig can handle Forza Horizon 4, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 then why not? I mean at this point it has sort of proven itself that being said Black Ops 4 was a pain in the bum so it kind of raises a few concerns in my rather weak body but anyways we're gonna try to run the game on a PC I spent around roughly 350 US dollars it features AMD's second generation Ryzen, it's a 4 core 8 thread CPU running in 3.5 GHz with the uh, tiny GPU chip built into the CPU and this rather tiny chip in question which is also known as the Radeon RX Vega 11 is our graphic chip and will be responsible for all the glorious eye blending graphics we are soon about to witness so there is no dedicated graphics card in this PC whatsoever so let's just pause for a moment and look at Battlefield 5's minimum requirement what does it take to start the game and what does it take to have a pleasant experience in the game let's jump over to EA's site ea.com and see what they're saying here so a few things here guys we should be aware of we actually got two different minimum requirements for the game one says just minimum requirements and the other one says for dxr now dxr means directx ray tracing and currently it only works on nvidia's latest rtx 2000 series cards so to be able to add activate ray tracing you need the latest update windows 10 which includes dxr in addition to a pretty high-end computer in general for example you need a rtx 2070 at least which is a 500 dollar graphics card <laughs> nonetheless this has nothing to do with this video but i found this kind of interesting but let's focus on the minimum requirements now. So Battlefield 5 requires you to run at least Windows 7. So at least Windows 7 is needed to be able to start the game. Hey, not completely unexpected that you cannot run this game under Windows Vista or Windows XP. Anyway, now in terms of processor, we got the AMD FX 8350 or the Core i5 6600K. Now for AMD, DICE or EA is recommending the FX 8350, which is a CPU that came out in 2012. It retailed for $200 and it features uh, an 8-core CPU run running in 4 gigahertz sounds exciting but it's not it runs very hot and it has a pretty horrible ipc which makes it the cpu 
you shouldn't share too much about. Now for Intel, we got the Core i5-6600K, which on the other hand is a lot faster and a little bit more exciting. This CPU came out by the end of 2015 and this CPU to this day it still actually performs pretty good in games. It only performs slightly worse than the CPU we got in our PC that we're gonna be running with today. That should give you some sort of idea how this performs. Now in terms of memory uh, we need at least 8 gigabytes here which we have however there will be problems here but let's move on uh, for graphics we need at least a gtx 1050 or an radeon rx 560 to be able to even start the game now dice is stating that two gigs of vram is necessary whoever since a graphics chip borrows the video memory from the primary memory the eight gigabyte we have in our system will yet again is not enough for this system now since we're not reaching the minimum requirement Requirement. Technically, the game should not be able to start because we're running with 2 GB of memory uh, short here, so to speak. Uh, in terms of hard drive space, you need 50 GB. Now, let's start up the game and prepare for the worst. Now, running low on memory usually ends with the system dumping information onto the hard drive instead into a file called a page file. This is not the end of the world as the only thing that this does is make Making the system a little bit slower and perhaps it may cause some game stutter if you're unlucky. So to anyone that is running with 8 gigabytes of memory and you're trying to run a game on that PC your best friend is this page file. So to help you out here make sure you got a fast hard drive like an SSD for your page file to make things uh, somewhat acceptable and to not make your life 100% miserable anyway the game starts up pretty nicely i have to admit once again i'm surprised how well this budget system handles new gaming titles maybe i shouldn't jinx anything just yet though because we have not jumped into a game yet i decided i wanted to uh, give the system a real challenge so i decided to jump into a 64 player conquest on a map called Hamada again without a graphics card <laughs> i keep saying that but i think it's worth pointing out at this point now conquest is basically a game mode which is all about capturing and holding flags and conversing tickets from your team massive huge all-out war mode where you don't want to be running out of tickets basically so i did try different settings back and forth here guys and to achieve a satisfying frame rate of the golden mark of around 60 frames per second i had to put everything to the lowest and set the resolution scaling to about 75 percent give or take now with the gpu peaking at 100 percent and the cpu around 75 to 85 percent and memory usage around the 90 mark this was a little bit nerve-wracking not gonna lie but also at the same time a very pleasant experience the slight res scaling make things a little bit blurry here but it is totally worth it in the end of the days since we're able to once again reach a satisfying average frame rate of near the 60 fps mark which in my opinion definitely is necessary in any game in this day and age the old console gaming of 30 fps that era is definitely dead and gone to me now let me know if you relate or not now i did try a wide range of different maps and i also jumped into this game called war stories game mode as well where you get to experience untold unexpected stories of human drama set against global conflict through a uh, four first-hand accounts inspired by real places and events now overall we're able to reach a satisfying frame rate and i'm happy to say that once again 
again this system manages to handle battlefield 5 with uh, somewhat reasonable results now surely i gotta admit guys you will get a richer experience visually running the game on a ps4 pro or an xbox one x for the same money but you will of course be running with the limitations that comes with gaming on a console so if i had to choose between these two i would pick the pc nine times out of ten so conclusion time so can you run battlefield 5 with eight gigabytes of total system memory and no graphics card yes if you have the very same ryzen 2400g and no graphics card and eight gigabytes of vram you should be able to run bf5 with similar results now few things to have in mind make sure you run the system in dual channels many games will benefit quite a lot by running in dual channels you definitely want to do that also you want to make sure you got your ram modules in the highest possible frequency and make sure you have some space over on your hard drive because you're gonna need that page file once windows starts running low because it will happen now if you have an older pc that doesn't quite meet the minimum requirement make sure sure you have the latest driver available to whatever graphics card you have also if you can run windows 10 make sure you just have the game running in the other softwares as that you normally have up running such as spotify youtube twitch and instagram or whatever you need to shut those softwares down all right otherwise you will run out of memory for sure and yeah guys that's it you can find all the specs all the specifications the exact details of what pc i'm running right now now i'm curious have you tried battlefield 5 yet and what are your initial thoughts is it anything near battlefield 4 or is it more like battlefield 1 in a world war 2 skin let me know in the comments below guys and with that said thank you so much for watching this video and until next time have an awesome day all right bye